This man not the off in mind. Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, good evening to you from wherever you're watching from. This is Mayegun Live. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. <clears throat> Share the broadcast. Invite your friends. Invite your not so friendly friends. I've got something for you tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you. Ani esun raiki. Aye buti de. Aye buti. Share the broadcast. Aye esun raiki. Aye buti de. Ani esun raiki. Aye buti de. Lori Facebook. Thank you. Good evening to you once again. Good morning to you and good afternoon to you from wherever you are watching from. And again, this is Mayegun Live. Okay, but, but Leo, so where we left is where we are going to continue tonight with a little bit of uh, spiced uh, extras as nobody can pretend anymore as uh, days, or let me say as minutes are turning to hours, hours turning to day, and days turning to night and weeks and on. Everybody is getting um, coming closer to their own reality. And remember, the reason why many, many people like us choose never to be deceived, swayed, blackmailed, even when the entire Nigeria is being drawn into this charade, we have seen through it. There is no kind of uh, sweet manipulation that can work on people like us. 
And that is why when we speak, some people feel like uh, we have a closed mind. Nigeria is a faulty existence. And the beneficiary from that faulty existence are holding on to any form of a reform that could free the shippies since they are benefiting from it. Now that the rot is consuming them, like we said, rather than help them salvage it, salvage it for an extra four years, don't be part of that, right? Watch them as they self-destruct. Politically, on Mayegun's diary political, we use the events, the past, the present, to predict the future. We use the antecedents of the characters who have been in charge one time or another of what is today's reality of Nigeria in whatever capacity. We use them point by point to arrive at uh, the conclusion of uh, Nigeria will end in nothingness, even if they continue to lie to you that what you need is good leader. What you need is, uh, uh, you know, to, to participate in election. What you need is uh, to be prayerful. What you need is to be patriotic. All those things they tell you you need continue to put the responsibility of the failure of Nigeria on those who are not responsible, but just uh, partners, so to say, because many of you are alibis in what uh, the reality of Nigeria is today. But let's cut the chase. We know that except Nigeria, as it is currently structured, except Nigeria is completely dismantled from its, currently, or its current stranglehold, any solution, any idea, any preaching, unity or whatever you want to call it, is a pure waste of time. Assuming it's just a waste of time, we could have said, well, maybe you still have a lot of time on your hands. It is also a waste of lives, precious lives. In reality, those who, who fight to keep Nigeria one, they are fought for one thing, just for their own benefit only. And in this regard, it will be a kind of injustice done to yourself to continue to believe in those who tell you they have a solution. But their solution includes keeping the Nigeria as it is right now. And when you now look at these characters, they are not different from the known faces, known characters who have a very, very recent, uh, you know, record that should remind you that you can't pretend not to know them, only to believe in them when they, when they now burn you then you come back uh, screaming, betrayer. I thought they would be different. They are not different. And that is why today, eh, the crooks, the brigands, the bandits, the terrorists in your political space are all gangling up to become your presidents because that is the reality of Nigeria today. Everywhere I walk to, people will ask me, my are you the one who is asking that we should break up Nigeria? My brother, we don't need to break up Nigeria. We just need to work together. And we need good leaders. And I said, please, when you say we, be very, very clear. Because that is how they put a fraudulent uh, paper together, Decree 24 of Abdul Salami Abubakar. And they call it 1999 constitution. And they said, we, the people of Nigeria, yet there is no record that there was any time they had a public referendum on the content uh, of the constitution, never. So Baba, if you are using your we, be careful, because that's how they roped you in to what you're currently dealing with that they said is not negotiable. I said, have you looked at uh, what you call the, the structure itself? He said, it's just bad leaders. I said, what produces bad leaders? 
Nigeria is a crime scene, and in Nigeria, crimes is uh, always uh, rewarding. Criminals are rewarded in Nigeria, but it's just that the Nigerians prefer or love their own uh, criminals differently. Do you get the concept? We need good leaders. Okay, how? We need to vote good leaders. Oh, really? I bet some of you have been jumping up and down. Go and get your PVC. Go and get your PVC to elect good leaders. A good leaders, Abby. I bet you have heard that uh, 47% of your PVC registration eh, is invalid. Have they told you? Have, they, have, you, been here? have, they, have you heard that? That is the system. Because Abdul Salami Abu Bakr put a decree together. He said, we Nigerians. I said the conversation around should Nigeria be together, should Nigeria break up, is open to the people who are currently the indigenous people of Nigeria. From the word go, they've never had a say in how they are governed, the system of governance, and then whatever, what have you. They've never, you've never had a say. These guys who put themselves inside the room. And then they will bombard you with all of them. Majority of them you don't even understand. That is why you don't understand why criminals are so confident to be running for public offices because they know that nothing will be done. Nobody will actually call them criminals because they own the system. They run it. So when criminals, thieves, take charge of your government and then you want them to go after other thieves, how possible is that? That is the drama you have in Nigeria. Then talk about failure. Nigeria politicians always believe that they are doing you a favor. Maybe you don't know. Or maybe you know. And many of you are comfortable with that. Let's just thank God that they bring the transformer. We've now had the transformer. The, the three, three local government chairmen promised us transformers. You know, transformer. Only this senator who brought it for us. Let us be thankful, even though they know they don't have electricity to even power the transformer. So they believe they are doing you a favor. And therefore, they also believe that they know what you want. But they don't. In their own warped mind and believe that they know what we want. That is why many, many of them are standing up for Nigeria instead of standing up for their own uh, people that they claim to be representing failure. I told you that uh, pol politics in Nigeria is shop, I shop, rub my back, I rub your back, turn by turn, Nigeria Limited. Whatever crumb that falls on your lap, for those of you who are the Afuvuzelas on social media and offline, they are just, uh, uh, okay. What Shuba they said is gained more experience than anybody else inside the APC, Egbe Kegbe and Bokuari's government. So let us start reviewing them. Now the, now the people with the system pop up for you, be this so, the ones I can remember. And the ones they are telling you to begin to, to ruminate through, to begin to squeeze and ramble through until you find one, eventually the one that uh, still pretty much uh, is a product of the system, right? For another four years, by the way, but hang on. You have the following names. In APC, as we speak, we have uh, Tifnumbu. We have Pastor Ruga. We have uh, Oki Jashatabandu. That is Chris Ngige. We have uh, Okorocha. We have uh, who else from there? Amosun, the former governor and senator now of, from Ogun State. You also have uh, Amechi. I don't know if I've mentioned them. And now you have this uh, Olimpopos. Uh, this Olympopos Mr. Mary's budget uh, governor. 
Ayade from Cross River. And they all pledged to what? To continue from where Bokowari stopped until fake Pastor Ruga made a statement in Ogun State. I'm going to share that uh, with you. But without, when we talk about antecedents and what the system popped up for you and why you have every right to say, no, I don't want to be part of that nonsense. Who wants to be part of this? Even though they are, for, like I told you, in Nigeria, they love their own thieves differently. Pastor Ruga is the head of the Economic Council of Nigeria for the past seven years. And it was Pastor Ruga's economic policy to give 10,000 10, naira to traders, poor people, to start uh, uh, trading so that uh, when they pay back, they can also become a millionaire. And possibly the Bokuari's government, they will lift 100 million people out of poverty. And in the space of uh, seven years, uh, I'm, I'm even coming to that, it was his own economic policy to lift 10 million people out of poverty, give them 10,000 10, uh, naira to start a uh, selling bag of uh, pure water. And when they tell you that uh, Pastor Ruga has, uh, you know, he, he speaks a lot of uh, grammar, which kind of entices uh, the mumus that listen to him without looking at the failure. It was uh, Pastor Ruga, and when they give you an excuse that uh, a vice president is a spear tire, don't always believe them. They are all crooks and criminals. It was uh, Pastor Ruga who was uh, in charge of uh, Nigeria as the acting president of Nigeria when Bokowari was a vegetable in London. It was Pastor Ruga who made an approval of a 5.2 billion naira for Nema. Listen to this. Oh. China gave Nigeria rice that they should share the rice uh, for the people in uh, refugee camps, IDP camps. And then uh, the, the rice got to Nigeria. And they said, Nigeria, uh, Nigeria custom. They, they, they refused to clear it because Nema, who is going to receive the sheep, uh, Nema didn't have money to clear the, the sheep, to clear the rice, give to. So he spent about uh, three, four months there. So when Pastor Ruga became acting president, so they brought it to him quickly. Pastor Ruga approved it. That, you know, among other legal, legal, uh, what do you call legal, legal, I mean, legal action that he took, right? He approved it quickly that they should release the money, right? Now they got the, they got the rice out. By the time they got the rice out, right? They stored it uh, in wherever NEMA office they kept it. And guess what? That's the end of it. So they said, how could you release 5.3 billion, 5.2 billion era for, you know what I mean? And it was under him that uh, trade that money. That was when they took it from him, okay? That trade that money of 10,000 10, era. That the, the professor of law, senior advocate of nonsense, crashed in a shopper where he was flying about sharing money, buying votes. He crashed in Kogi. He didn't stop. He kept going. When they finished in 2019, they removed him and they created another ministry. He brought the idea to fight poverty. They brought the idea of a humanitarian ministry and they put uh, Bokwari's uh, former girlfriend there, Shadia. So Shadia <clears throat> is now the person who is now doing what Pastor Ruga created. That's the one that will tell you they have given uh, 500 billion era for, I mean, for COVID uh, palliative. They have shared their 1.2 trillion era to poorest Nigerians. Oh, yeah, bring evidence. No, we, we, we share them. They don't have bank accounts. It was Pastor Ruga's economic policy, a looting spree. It was Pastor Ruga's idea when they said that uh, to bring an end to Fulani terrorism and the Fulani uh, armed uh, artsmen, the menace and all of that. It was Pastor Ruga's uh, economic team, the one he headed that brought the idea of a cattle colony, that brought the idea of a ranching, that brought the idea of a rural grazing area. Guess what? It was all this idea disguised in resettling a terrorist to placate his uh, own boss. It was Pastor Ruga. Don't let anybody deceive you on that. And then uh, he went to Abel Kuta. He was in Ogun State after he declared and uh, Bokuari's men I'm mean, sorry, Tifnumbu's men are not really happy. If at first, it was in a badon. So he released this clip. Let me share that. And I'll take you to Abel Kuta where he said, no, he actually said it in Shagamo, the palace of uh, 
you know, Akarigbo Shagamo, Akarigbo Fremo. He said that uh, if he becomes the president, he's not going to spend two years thinking of what to do, taking a jibe at Bukwari. So let's see this. This was uh, in a badon, I believe. <laughs> On April 11th, 2022, I, your son, your brother, your friend, declared my intention to run for President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I... taking into account the fact that our country always will need all of those who are willing to serve it to the best of their capacity and to the best of their knowledge. So that's why I'm here, Kabis, but I said that I must come here and pay my respects. You can be sure that wherever I am and whatever situation I am, I hold you in the highest esteem. And I will always continue to support whatever it is that you want to do, either for yourself or for the great people of the world. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice President, President Oshibadu. You are a wonderful human being. You are a wonderful person. May Allah grant you access to what you want out of life. But very soon, Hopefully, in God's name, you will be president of Nigeria. <laughs> everything that I learned as vice president, everything that I've learned as acting president, has prepared me, prepared me to run as president of our country and to function as president of our country. God does not make a mistake. God is deliberate in everything that he does. And by giving me all of those opportunities, every one of the opportunities I have, to see for myself, to understand governance for myself at the highest level of our country's governance, to be exposed to everything, local and international, at the highest levels of governance in our country. It was to come handy one day. And I believe the time has come. I believe that that time has come. And I have the responsibility to my country, I have the responsibility to you, to all our children, and to coming generations, to give all of what I've learned everything I have learned, all of the service I have given, to be able to give it to our country and to serve our country faithfully, honestly and transparently. That is my intention. Gaima, all I have learned, can we talk about what they have learned? He was Commissioner of uh, Justice on that Tifnumbu. It was him that helped Tifnumbu to convert majority of the Lagos State property into Tifnumbu's name and his cronies. Helped Tifnumbu to make laws, change and manipulate laws 
they are currently cemented the landlordship of Tifnumbu in Lagos. Now, trailer don't pass their midst. Tifnumbu is feeling betrayed. Lagos Abobakus are still thinking this is a dream. It's not real. But in their closet, they are crying, mourning. How could this man do this? Now, what did he learn with Bokowari? And what has he learned in, as the vice president and the acting president? Nigeria. Listen to this, oh, because to those of you who are comfortable blaming Bokowari, ah, this Bokowari, now this, uh, some of you are in your way, make I tell you in clear terms. Uri majority in your way, then Bokowari, Bokowari. When you say Bokowari, you must put Oshibaju beside. They are one and two together. You remember when they when they murdered people at Lekki? Sure, you remember the. <laughs> A bloody day, oh, the way that he's talking about what I have learned in the highest place. What did he learn? Listen, oh, in 2015, Nigeria's uh, naira to a dollar was 199 naira to a dollar. It is now 600 naira to a dollar. A bag of rice in 2015 was 7,500 Naira. Today, a bag of rice is uh, 30,000 Naira. Uh, what do you call it? Unemployment rate in 2015 was uh, 13 million. Today, in 2022, more than 70 million Nigerians are jobless today. Are you following me? In 2015, the total debt of Nigeria, local and foreign, was put at 45 billion. Today, the total debt of Nigeria, local and foreign, is put at 137 billion dollars. Are you following? In 2015, yeah, the number of uh, internally displaced people, refugee people from the terrorists in northern Nigeria was this corrupt. They put them at uh, 1 million people. Now, today in 2022, seven years after, the number of people displaced by Fulani terrorists, Boko Haram, Iswap, has now skyrocketed to, so it's skyrocketed to over 17 million. Wait for it, though. In 2015, they said the total number of uh, 11 million children are out of school. Today, in 2022, more than uh, 23 million school children, school age, school age children, they are not in school. They are roaming about everywhere today. And in 2015, they said that uh, the, the, poorest Nigeria, uh, the poorest Nigerians were between uh, 70 to 80 million uh, people. Today, more than 180 million Nigerians are living in abject, drastic, chronic poverty. That is their record. In northern Nigeria today, more than 11,798 schools have been shut down in Kaduna, in Kano, in Yobe, in Taraba, in Niger, in Adamawa, in all these places, in Kasina, because terrorists have told them to shut those schools. In 2015, it was Shibok, Shibok girls, Shibok girls, until Dabshi happened. Until Kankara happens, until uh, 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 you know, mass kidnapping. Now, 30 days after they kidnapped 168 people on the Kaduna Abuja uh, railway, 30 days ago, the families of those that were in captivity 
have not heard anything, and they are mostly have been abandoned by the government because they've moved on. Bokwari is holding iftar. Ramadan break with judges, with governors, with party this, with that. Fake Pastor Ruga is holding iftar for, for politicians, for delegates. Amechi, the Minister of Transportation, is junketing, junketing everywhere because he wants to be presidiot. Is complete joke, isn't it? And the people, they probably, because you have not been captured, okay? Don't worry. You are still currently, you still currently have choices, okay? Seriously. These are the people they took 30 days ago, right? They were just traveling. They were just like normal people like you and me. People will be say some of them self, they feel no even like APC, like PDP. Some of them feel be like critic of uh, Bokwari or anything. But Nigeria happened to them 30 days ago, right? That is not the only thing, though. There are actually those that will actually break your heart. The pictures they have not been showing you. Look at this. These are part of those they kidnapped on that train. Children. There is a pregnant woman. Uh, there is a pregnant woman among them. They didn't tell you. That pregnant woman just gave birth. I have been told just yesterday. Now, this is happening, but guess what? They want to be presidiot. They want to continue from where Bukwari stopped. And you are already excusing them, right? In one of the jibes from Pastor Ruga, this one. Or aspirant. Who on day one can hit the ground running? Who on day one knows what to do? Who will not spend another two years trying to decide what to do? That person is your son, Oluyemi Oshibadu. That is that person. He won't spend two years thinking about what to do. You get what I mean? So, yeah, he was welcomed in Ogun State. You know, he's now claiming that he's from Ogun State, Abi. Uh huh. He wants to be president now. Vice president from Lagos State, who is now from Ogun State for the time he wants to be president. And Ikene, that he claims to come from. How many of you come from Ikene, Iremo, and all those axes? Eh? Shibi, you know how your territory look like, Abi? Eh? Now, so then we're coming. Mm -hmm. Here is another one. And indoor, they also sang for him. <laughs> so it is no longer a joke. That was the moment. Uh, the governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Biodun, the dubious Dakwa, quickly endorsed him and said, Ah, Omo, now Shiba will go follow who is, who is Jaga Bandit. Jaga Bau, he will need Jaga, Tani Jaga Wiri. But I think on this platform, I have told you the story of how dubious Dakwa became governor of Ogun State. Eh? How many of you remember that? Uh, uh, it's payback time. So the guy is just going to do what he has to do. Payback time. The way they manipulated Amosun, as mad as that one claimed to be. And eventually, Amosun lost out completely. And Dapa became governor, and he's never found his base since then. Eh? 
That was how he got his endorsement from Dapo. Then somebody sent me a video that, oh boy, your star boy is not joking. That uh, even as far as, uh, as far away as uh, Ghana, your dubio, I mean, your, your pastoruga is campaigning. Just this one. <laughs> Along. That's what they saw. And I think that's the moment that if Numbu feels like uh, Omo, we go take this thing, go, we go take this thing, go face God, though. Because if you like seeing a person, we, we close with person, and to small alone, she young, she young. So I might just quickly go, Mura, a lesser arch, they call it a B normal arch, eh? arch. So about the arch, go face Allah, say, Omo, it don't read you. Last chance. Now, my, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they decided to organize special tawaf. I'll be special tawaf for Ajiwaju. We will go pray for Baba. Because if Baba Mr. Yeah, it don't finish you. So this is the poster they took to Mecca. The poster where that the only threat they feel like that they have is the unexpected uh, entrant. It was a shocker for them, sincerely. I mean, it, was, it is still a shocker for them. So for those who saw Ashiwaju and Woli in Mecca, it was mingling with people here. You know what I mean? Ashiwa, 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 Ashiwa. You know what I mean? And some even said they saw him where they it was having a shot some you know some people crazily said it's probably you know mixing things up here as well i don't know Mm-hmm. Wani Maluaki, Wani They will do anything anyway. That's what they do, the pretense they do most of the time. But you see, guys, we can, we can tell you something, right? APC, a Beckett form is 100 million. Okay. 100 million era for presidential form. And some of you know that currently, well, it's been 72 days that ASU, they have been on strike simply because they said they had an agreement of some money, money arrangement with uh, the government that the government is not fulfilling. And they have been on strike, industrial action, for 72 days. See counting, by the way. They may never have anything to give because even during the time that they, are, they started their strike, yeah, when they started their strike, during the time and now, Boko Ari has given money to God knows how many. But Afghanistan, the Taliban, the Taliban in Afghanistan, they got paid $1 million from Bukhari in his largesse. As to no get cover. Now, everybody now has money to go and pay $100 million for APC, presidential form, including people who are inside Bukhari's government right now. People who no pay salary. Ngige want to take form. Now, that one go shock you when you hear that uh, the Minister of uh, Education I, I heard, right? Is also, ladies and gentlemen, where is he again? Uh, I think I found it. This is it. His name is uh, Emeka 
Uwajura. Currently, according to them, he is the Minister for uh, Education, the Minister of Education in Nigeria. Yeah? The guy also declared to run for president, and he just picked a form of a 100 million naira. Yeye Belu, that is owing his own uh, workers in Kogi, pensioners, to the, to, to, uh, I mean, as much as uh, six years unpaid gratuities in Kogi, hmm? is, uh, he has, I mean, he's also picked uh, his own uh, form, 100 million naira. Do you know that that 1 million, uh, I mean, 100 million, <laughs> one, on, 1 million hundred. So 100 million naira, yeah, is actually so much that uh, that's what some local government area, entire local government area, actually get in a month if they ever get if they ever get anything and that is and also by their law yeah yeah he's minister of state rather sorry thank you for that uh correction he's the minister of state oh 100 m he don't pay and these guys are still in their offices and their positions normally oh, they were supposed to resign yeah and then go and pursue their presidential ambition. But the Bokwari's government is so corrupt that his ministers are governors, all of them are taking money from the covers of their own uh, different uh, ministry and states to fund APC, Ebekebe, and there is nothing wrong with that, uh, according to them. Yeah? So Amosun will pay his own 100 million naira tomorrow. Amechi already paid his own 100 million. Ngige said his own budget was 500,000. Somebody already uh, wrote a check for Tifnumbu's 100 million. Pastor Ruga, some people are already saying that they are also raising money for Pastor Ruga. All of this, when those they want to lead, majority of them in captivities, the captivities that uh, including children, like I showed you earlier, yeah? Look at this. Nobody actually really care about them. Rather, they want to continue from where Boko Ari will stop. 30 days. No one is responsible for them. And uh, nobody will be responsible for them. Okay? And that's part of the reasons why we say, before you become a victim, before this happens to you, yeah, if you know the rogues you are dealing with, Eh? The rogues you are you are you are you are propagating or promoting, as many of you are, right? You are just a disaster waiting to happen. You see this picture? That could be anybody, it could be any member of your family, Allah Bakri. Do you get that now? Allah Bakri, Ori Eti Daru, Tobang Bomi, and Baker Kine Krolo, you can be. Uh, we know that uh, there are some wearies like you that uh, whatever we say about these rogues, what will really concern you is that your religion. And I have told many people many times, yeah, if you really want to probably have uh, any kind of uh, peace, peace of mind listening to Mayegun, eh? you will learn how to detach your religion from these pretenders, from these criminals, parading themselves as one of you. Oh, you see people like you, Allah Bakari, eh? You will never do that because your reason why some of you will see Tifnumbu as somebody, Tifnumbu as anything, is because he is a legit Tifnumbu. And whatever I say about him, to you, na Allah with the insult, Uri Eti Bale, Ati Wata Onto Nye, you will be the king law. He is saying something about that you go and solve my problem with. Who told you I have any problem with any one of you? Nobody has any problem with any of you. We are raising alarm so that we don't become a victim of what you will is. have indulged for so long. So Lori Brookwelly Kura Kuro Lori Bito Bavek Bad no Ye La Lay. Just Kori Brookwe Sek Bekon. You know what I mean? I don't have any problem with any of you, any of your leaders. But you know what? Their actions and their inactions 
actually affects me as well indirectly to lori buruku e oba mo to ba je islam eyan lori munu e eh wa shofu ati wa ti ru islam e to ni mind ni soro pe awon kan wa to really ki enipa bo se gbe religion abi be se gbe religion yen ni and to ba wa won to gbe religion sori aba won ti religion yin jo loju be yen to 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 le shake be yen abi to le lo intimidation yin yen fun why don't you just uh, try that elsewhere awon lori buruku ten pe ten pe leader yen awon oni religion and therefore to me Eh, Uluri Buwo, as much as Uluri Brukuye, I will treat them as that Uluri Brukuye, gong 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 gong. So you want to be there, stand in the way. To your religion, a low fact is here. Eh, you enter it and you also share part of it. Go move anybody in Bio, Bakari, Ashiri, Omo. Me o insult eh, Omo. Pi eni kuto eki pi eni o. That's not it. O insult eh, kabulu Uluri Brukuye le. Talo insult eh. More because people like you are there too. There are many people like you there. Who feels like uh, when you take on these rogues, they always look for that means and say, oh, he, just, he didn't like him because he's a Christian. Oh, he didn't like him. He's, he's, he's criticizing him because he's a Muslim. And that's actually a trigger for somebody like myself because it is, the, it is always the moment to call out to really like you and say, Tifnubu is not a Muslim or Shubade is not a Christian. Okay, so when I talk about them, I talk about rogues. And when I see them garbed in that uh, fake, when I see them garbed in that fake pretense, public face, eh, I don't see them as Muslims or Christians. So, to Lori Bruku, a bakari, to Bafil offended, to Rimo, Mosho, Lori Bruku, Tifnumbu, Yinimeka. We know that that is where they group now. Where do you think they always group? What, where do you think uh, the Lori Brukus that are leading you? Where do you think they group? They group in Mecca, they group in Jerusalem, they call on Jesus, they call on Muhammad, and you buffoons, idiots. What do you do? You call behind them, Allah knows best. And you will in it. You will be able to get it. Allah knows best in it. Eh? You will be able to get it. Holy Ghost knows best. When you see those who are the leaks of Allah knows best, when we are talking about rogues, you can join them. Go call the Bruku Sigbo. When you come on by, 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 you because I know we really like you. There are really, 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 many really, really like you. Everywhere. Tif Nubu is not a Muslim. Or Shubade is not a Christian. Uh, Bokwari is not a Muslim. And in this case, self, eh? If nobody say as he be, you can say they are not even Yorubas. You know what you claim to use to say, ah, this person is a Christian. You don't watch people killed and come out to lie about it. That is probably unreligious. So if I now see them gabbed in that, uh, if I 